people say experience is the best teacher. Yes, yeah not all our experiences are right, isn't it? Our experiences are not all good. We have experiences that are bad and also wrong, correct? How many of us here on earth never experienced bad things or never made a mistake? How many of us want to make mistakes? Do you want mistakes? If you're riding on a plane, do you want the pilot to make a mistake and drive you to the wrong destination? Or worse, drive the plane to the wrong direction and so run out of fuel and crash into the ocean? No, of course not. We don't want to make mistakes. We hate it when we make mistakes. Do you want to make mistakes in exams? No, we want the right answers, correct. So we can avoid it by studying, is it not? Yes. If we studied and researched and searched for truth and the right answers to our questions and put it to mind we will not make mistakes. So based on what experience is the best teacher. Let us also learn to study ourselves and also study and research well because that is what Yahuwah commanded us to do for it is written in the word study to make yourself approved unto Yahuwah rightly dividing the word of truth. And in our study and research, we also need to learn from the experiences of others who came before us and listen to their teachings so that we do not make the same mistakes that they had suffered. They suffered because of their mistakes. So we must learn to do the right things in order to succeed in whatever we want to do. Let me give you a classic example. Let me tell you a story that happened ages and irons ago of unrecorded time before time was even created. That story of what happened to Lucifer, the former anointed angel a cherub, one of the highest angel in heaven. Not all angels can enter the most sacred place in the temple of the almighty creator, Yahuwah. Other angels would burn in the presence of Yahuwah which is by the way only a tiny speck of Yahuwah's magnificent awesome presence, but Lucifer, he can enter and he does not burn, because he came from the fire of Yahuwah. We came from the dust of the earth. We were created from the earth. Our bodies are suitable for the earth and that will live on earth, but our souls and spirits were created from the image of the almighty Yahuwah. Our souls and spirits came from the Ruach of Yahuwah. Ruach in Hebrew means spirit, mind, breath, fire, wind of Yahuwah. That is our image. It came from Ruach. It is the same of Yahuwah's. So it is only our earthly bodies that dies, but our souls and spirits are likened and came from Yahuwah and so after our earthly body dies our spirits and souls will continue to live and will never die. Now, what happened in Lucifer? Let us never imitate. He became proud and arrogant. He thought he could be like the Almighty and be worshipped like Yahuwah. He fought with the angels who were faithful to Yahuwah who do not want to go with him. He was only an angel, yes he is beautiful and smart, Lucifer was anointed in music and worship. He was the highest worship leader of Yahuwah. Lucifer was also a worshipper then, and he is the highest worshipper of Yahuwah, and lead all the angels to worship the almighty Yahuwah. The word said, Lucifer was created from fire, Ruach is the fire of Yahuwah, and Lucifer was created perfect until he fell. So when he fell, by the way, the name Lucifer, means light bearer. He was light bearer but when he fell, he became the prince of darkness. One third of the fallen angels who worshipped Lucifer, who became Satan, which means enemy, who fell with him was casted out of the third heaven thrown out of the heavens which was lighted by the light that shines from Yahuwah. Every corner of the heavens was lighted by the light coming from Yahuwah, not like the light we see from the sun or our bulbs that can be blocked. No, Yahuwah's light shines in every part and corner of the heavens. There were no darkness in the heavens. How beautiful it must be to see his light was shining in every color beyond our imagination. His light is beyond and more beautiful than what we could imagine. That was Yahuwah's light, which was also in Lucifer, a little portion of the light of Yahuwah was in his created being. Lucifer became proud and started slandering Yahuwah, and so became a devil, for that is what devil means, slanderer. 
The devil slanders against one another and causes havoc or chaos against one another. Until it grew and spread throughout the kingdom of Yahuwah, and until their numbers grew and grew. Until their numbers were complete. Until it led to war. So there was war in heaven. The angels of Yahuwah fought back. It was Lucifer, who started the war. Not Yahuwah or his angels, but Yahuwah's angels fought back and defeated Satan. They were casted out from heaven into the darkness of outer space, where there was no light. Away from Yahuwah's light. That's how Satan got his title, Prince of Darkness. Into the earth, which was dark and formless. So it was the beginning as it was written in the book of Genesis. You know the story now. Yahuwah is omnipresent, present everywhere. Even present in the past. Present in the present, and present in the future. Nothing can be hidden from Yahuwah. He is also all-knowing, omniscient, and all-powerful, omnipotent. He measures all the heavens with the span of his mighty hand, which means that he is even bigger than all the heavens. We only know that there are ten heavens revealed to Kanuk or Enoch, but who knows? There could be more. Who can stop Yahuwah from creating new things? We only know what Yahuwah reveals to us. So we must know Yahuwah who created all of the heavens and all things seen and unseen. Yahuwah is greater and even bigger than all of his creation. Thanks for watching. Worship only Yahuwah Almighty our Creator and Savior. Yahuwah Abba Father means origin, Yahuwah Hadabah the Word and Yahuwah Ruach the Spirit, Mind, Breath, Fire, Water and Wind of Yahuwah. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. And, if you would like to support our channel, by purchasing our products just check out the links below or email us through shopwiser3 at gmail.com or support us through Patreon. Thank you so much. Until the next video. Shalom. Yahoo Shalom.